Well, you might remember we sent our show ambassador, Nick DiPaolo, out to negotiate a treaty between whites and blacks. Now Nick, they think that's good. Now Nick goes into the heart of New York's, he was in Harlem for that one. And now we went to New York's Arabic community for this installment of Nick DiPaolo, I Come in Peace. Take a look. <laughs> Uh, we hit a soft some tensions between people that live here in the Middle East and uh, people that live here. That would be us for the Jim Norton fans. But the people that live here now uh, live here, a lot of them, in Astoria, Queens. So we're here to find out, uh, you know, what exactly this tension is and how we can solve it. Ramadan started uh, yesterday? Yes, uh, Sunday. It's that a Sunday. So you're going to fast every day for 30 days? Yes. So it's not just a religion, it's actually a weight loss program? No, this is a religion. Oh, it's a religion. So you're starving your ass off? Yeah. It gives you more energy when you yeah. don't eat? Huh? Yeah. Apparently you're not Italian. And how, was, uh, how was your business right after September 11th? It's, uh, it slows down. You, you know. know how you could make it better? Oh. Shave that beard. You see, I'd rather have my pride to follow the, 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 <laughs> the steps of the prophets, because Prophet Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, they all have beards. Those are all guys that work for you? <laughs> Prime Minister of Malaysia recently said that um, he said that, that Jews run the world and that they have other countries do their fighting for them. Do you believe that's true? No, I don't believe that. You don't believe the Jews run the world? Okay. Have you been to Hollywood? <laughs> we came up with some ideas to ease the tension in the Middle East. Tell me what you think of these. If you encourage people to stop burning our flag in the Middle East, we'll give you one share of Halliburton stock. Uh, I don't understand what this is. Uh... How about uh, if you help disband Hamas, we'll disband the Wu-Tang Clan. That wouldn't help either. You know the Wu-Tang Clan is? No. Very angry black guys, they sing hip-hop. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more afraid of them than Bin Laden, I'll be honest with you. For every fundamentalist Islamic school that is shut down, we'll give you a, a tree and we'll plant it in Israel with your name. Who, me? Yes, we'll put a tree in Israel. With every fundamental school you're going to close, yeah, you're well, going to open a hundred. They're going to open a hundred? Of course. We'll give you a hundred trees. <laughs> So, Ali, we agree. We agree that there's one God. Yes. And we, sh we should all listen to what he has to say. Yes. <coughs> and we agree by... We agree this is very harsh. Whatever's in here. Eyes. You realize that? Yes, yeah, so I get. I have to take my pants off the airport every week. I'm like, <laughs> we almost lost you there for a minute, didn't we? They're actually pretty nice people, you know. But you'd be nice too if you had like an ego for breakfast and a kilo of this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.